Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Andy Kaufman, as of course most of you know. Uh, I have a lot of unfinished business in the South. First and foremost in my mind is taking care of that dumb hillbilly, Jerry Lawler. I really want to take care of him. That's most important to me. But I'm going to put that on the back burner for now. And I want to talk to you people out there, you people who live down here in the South, in the good old South portion of the United States, okay? I want to talk to you, and I want to help you. Every week, I'm going to be coming on here, on this station, and I'm going to give you little tips about how you can better your lives and how I can bring you up from the level that you're in right now and bring you up from the squalor that you're living in, the gutter and the garbage that your lives are. I thought he was trash as hell. This is a bar of soap. Now, does it look familiar to any of you? I know that you probably don't know what this is. I probably you haven't ever seen one of these before, but it is called soap. Matter of fact, if you're sitting at home now, you can maybe kind of repeat after me and say soap. Say soap. S-O-A-P. Soap. Not soap. Not soap. It's soap. Okay? I mean, none of that stuff is true that he was talking about. We use soap down here. You people, you your hands are so greasy and slimy. I mean, I, I, I don't want to shake them. You know, you ask me for an autograph, I'll sign you an autograph. But please, don't put out your hand and shake it until you can wash your hands. Now, this is what you do. Wet your hands, okay? Then wet the soap. Wash the soap, rub it on your hands, and rub it around, and your hands will get clean. Well, do I look dirty? Oh, slow down. No good for nothing. He was just an asshole, as far as I'm concerned. He didn't have no place down here. Now, you ladies out there, this is a razor. I'm not a, I'm not a southern hillbilly. <laughs> Hair looks terrible when it grows out of a woman's armpit or on a woman's leg. And let me tell you something, you ladies, I have been down traveling around the South. I see you in your shorts, and I see some of the hairiest legs. Where have you people been raised? You take a razor, and you shave, you shave under the armpits, and you shave up the leg like this, you see? But it made a lot of my friends mad. You probably may not be aware of this, but this is a very big problem in the South. A foul, foul smell in the air. Just take a whiff right now. As you're watching me, just go... Take a whiff. You smell that? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is toilet paper. Calls us rednecks, said we don't take showers, uh, don't know how to brush our teeth. If you don't like my house, stay out of it. It is sold. All you got to do is buy it and use it. And you people should use it. And I'll tell you, I guarantee you, that that will stop the foul smell. It will bring the smell up to a level so that at least the air will, in the South will be almost breathable. If I saw that guy walking down the street right now, I'd just I'd kick his ass. Jimmy Hart, who had a long history of hate with Jerry Lawler. Well, here Jimmy Hart and Andy Kaufman had gotten together. And Hart, always fearful of that physical abuse, pushes... Andy Kaufman into the into the fray, shoving Kaufman out front. You talk to me about this stuff, right? I'm never going to trust you again. You run out of the ring and leave me there alone, and then he pile drives me. I listen to you, that's what I get for listening to you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, listen just a little bit more, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, Mr. Hollywood. So, I said, we'll count the three again. Maybe he didn't hear me, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, right? Okay, I go one. Two, three, I charge back again. Lawler likes to knock me in the middle of next week. I look back at Coffin and he's looking at his watch over there. So the backwards heart, that's what happened to me. You run out of the ring, you count to three, you say, go at him. I go at him and he gets me in a pile driver, Hart. Come on, Hart. You, you see it the you way you want to see it, Paul. Well, you see it the way you want to see it. Hey, help me. Come on, man. Come on, Andy. And I will sue you. I will sue Hart. I will sue Lawler. I will sue everybody. I'll sue you all. Tearing in.
in to Andy Kaufman. Referee Thomas Marlin trying to get him separated. We had a little experience with that on television. Oh, here comes Sweet Daddy O. He grabs Kaufman. This is a check. This is the check that I was offering to anyone who could put Jerry Lawler in the hospital. It's for ten thousand dollars. This is what I was going to offer any wrestler that could put Jerry Lawler in the hospital. Is going to get ten thousand dollars. I am offering this check to Jerry Lawler. If he will come out here and say that he will be my partner in a match against Jimmy Hart. Uh, with all the things that you said and tried to do to Lawler, I can't really think that you think he's going to go up and be your partner in the ring. That's past history. I said I learned my lesson. I was wrong. Well, here's the king. Let's get out front here. Jerry, I, I, I assume you heard the conversation back here. You know, I've seen I've seen so much of I've seen so much from Andy Kaufman on television, just like everybody else has, that uh, this is a little hard to swallow. If, if I might, you know, if I might just uh, be quite frank with you. Yeah, yeah oh, come on gonna, in here. He's not gonna. Uh, you're right, uh, Mr. Lawler, Jerry, whatever. Uh, you're right. I've learned a lesson. I, I admit that I was wrong all this time. I'm sorry for, for everything that I've done. I just want a chance to get it the heart without one of his goons coming out and getting on me. I want a chance to get him one-to-one. -one. I know that with you in my corner, that won't happen. You'll be able to stop whoever he has. I want a chance. Now, I, I hate heart, okay? And I think you hate heart, too. Now, I, I, I want to just get a chance to, to, to do what I can to heart. Now, that all, that all sounds real good, but I also remember seeing you on television right here on this show saying, I hate Lawler and me, 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 and all of this stuff. What is that? You remember? That was only just talk. I was just running off at the mouth. I've been very obnoxious, and I'm sorry. If you'd please be in my corner, I will gladly pay you this $10,000. Let me just say this. Let me make a little proposition to you. I'll be your partner against Hart and whoever he brings. If you'll agree that this, that match will be the last time you step in a wrestling ring. Uh-huh, yes. I would agree to that. <laughs> you heard the proposition now. You won't wrestle, not just here, anywhere. I will do anything to get you in my corner against Hart so I can beat Hart without any interference. He promises never to wrestle again. That's enough for me. You keep your money. I'll go down to the ring with you. Can you add that? Can you get it? We'll get Eddie Marlin. You add the match, okay? We'll take okay? a break here and check it. Tank champions, the assassin. He certainly got the bulk on his size. He goes in at over 300 pounds. The opposition, Andy Kaufman, Jerry Lawler. Kaufman, who made the promise to Lawler that he would not wrestle again. He so wants to get a hold of Jimmy Hart. Lawler. Comes with that right hand. Kaufman turns on Lawler and throws the powder right in Lawler's eyes and Hart and Kaufman embrace. Two minutes and 46 seconds, it's gonna be a disqualification as it was all a great big put on by Andy Kaufman and Lawler is the butt of the joke. Hart and Kaufman all stomping away on Lawler. Going for another pile driver on Lawler and they slam him hard into the canvas. Yeah. 
It took brains, 